Yes, now. Look at that. I done botched it. I got to start over. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hey, y'all, just some kayak catfish. I've been out here fishing with my friend Daniel from Catfish Sumo today. He joined me up here, and we come out to hit the same area that you all saw in my last video where I got on all those big flatheads. So we come out here, we anchor down, got out here before dawn, and we had our water, our baits in the water right here as the sun come up, and that's when the bite's been on lately, and it was again today. Briefly, we had just a short window of time where the action was really was really on. I got the, the Tennessee trifecta today is what I ended up with. I got a trophy size flathead. The last video, I got the biggest flathead of 2019. I topped that one today in this one. I got a nice blue cat, and then I ended the day just a little while ago with a really nice striped bass. So that's the old Tennessee trifecta. But what we were doing is what you've been seeing me do in my recent videos. I was anchored down with suspended baits. We were using cut skipjack today. And me and Daniel, we kind of tag team the area. I was fishing off the end of the point, kind of where the secondary channel comes out, which you'll see when I, when I post the video. He was kind of up on the top of the point, off to the side. So what we were hoping to do is get fish moving either direction. If they were coming upstream going into there, I was going to catch them. If they were coming downstream going into there, he was going to catch them. Now, unfortunately, Daniel caught a few fish today, didn't get the big ones, but uh, Man, we've caught some fish out here though, and like I said, there's, for whatever reason, there's a, just a brief window of activity right now, and then the bite was pretty much dead after that. I mean, we were getting dink taps left and right early, and then once the bite shut off, it shut off. Now, like I said, I did catch that striper uh, just a few minutes ago here, but uh, uh, that's been pretty much the end of the action for either one of us after that sun got up high, but man, while it lasted, it was a good time. Here's the video. Right there. Look at right there. Rod tip's been over. It's a big skipjack here. I'm gonna pick up on him. Oh, if I can pick. Goodness. Goodness, he's strong. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Dang rod out. The rod holder, man. Yeah, it's solid, guys. That's a solid fish. That's what I came here for today. That's what I came here for. Oh, he's pulling, man. That's a big skipjack head he eat. I hope you can see me. It's still, it's still kind of dark out here, but I got that light on. I'm fishing the same place you saw in the last video. I got those three big flat heads. I said, I'm coming right back out here again. I'm off the end of this point here. Water temp still 64 degrees. Anchor down 30 feet of water. I'm off the end of this point. There's a secondary channel here that runs behind me. Now look at him go. Look at him go. He's got my other line. <laughs> He's got my other line over, but that's okay. A fish like this is worth it. I don't know the exact time, it's probably somewhere around 6.15ish. Had lines in the water at 6 o'clock. So I've only been on water here just a few minutes. Just taking my time with this one, y'all. This is a this is a good fish. Got my friend Daniel with Catfish Sumo. He came up and joined me today. He's Chattanooga so it's about an hour and a half from me we don't get to fish together very often but he's up here and he's on the other side of this point um, like I said I'm here off the end of it where the secondary channel comes in he's on the other side over there so basically the way we've positioned ourselves is we're ready for any fish that come through any fish that moves up this way into the channel or out of the secondary channel here going this direction I'm going to get them any fish that come down the other side of that point or come out of the secondary channel heading up He's going to get him. There goes that rock. Man, he's pulling again. Look at him. Look at him. All the ground I'd made on him is gone. <laughs> he done stripped all that line back off. Like I was saying, though, any fish coming this direction, that direction, or any fish that come out of the secondary channel, whether they go down or up, me and him, we're positioned to take advantage of it. One of us is going to catch him. 
<laughs> this is fun, man. This makes getting up at four o'clock in the morning. This makes it worth it right here. <laughs> Get a fish like this on, you don't need no morning coffee, man. This right here will wake you up quicker than anything. Okay, guys, well, this is interesting. Look at this. So I've got a blue cat here. As you're going to see here in a minute. The blue cat had hit that rod right there. But this flathead got me wrapped up in that line. So I've been fighting both these fish. <laughs> I knew there was a fish hitting that rod or I didn't know he'd got hooked up. This is gonna be a daggone mess. <laughs> I've got a I've got a dang nice flathead and a blue all together here. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess, but that's a good flathead. I might be able to, I might be able to bring this flathead in. Look at this now. Look at that. Let me get that hook out of him. That's what he eat right there. That skipjack head. Let me get that hook undone. I may be able to just let this blue cat. There. Whew. Buddy. <laughs> I got a tangled mess there. I'm going to have to cut that line and start over. But that's a dang good flathead. <laughs> Let's get him up here and take a look at him. Look at that. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. That's a good one, Daniel. That's what we came here for. Woo! Oh, that's awesome. Look at the colors on him, man. That's a light color right there. He's kind of a sand and black. That's awesome. I'll set him down here a second. Let me do the obligatory social media stuff and get some better pictures. Oh, I got some better pictures. I'll put him on that board. It's 43 inches long. Man, that's a good fly. One more look. All right, let's let him go. Then we got to start over here. All right, buddy. See you, Mr. Flathead. Let's do it again when you're even bigger. Look at him. He don't even care. He just nonchalantly. <laughs> Man, that was fun. Oh, where we go, guys? There we go. <laughs> it's on that skipjack head again. It's on the head. Same one I caught that big flathead on. Well, a little blue catch there. Let's let him go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we'll drop that head down and see if we can get a third fish on. There goes that one. There goes that one. head again. Fish number three on the head. This feels like another blue. Yeah, pretty sure this is another blue cat. Not that I'm disappointed with uh, catching a blue. Not disappointed at all. But that flathead came up here for flatheads. And that big flathead set the bar this morning. <laughs> Set the bar high. Well, this right here, it don't feel like a, it don't feel like a bad fish. So this fish here, he's gonna pull a little bit. When he first, when I first picked up on it, I could feel him rolling. So I thought, oh, this is just a, a smaller blue that's gotten hooked. I don't think he's gonna be too bad a fish. That ain't a bad blue. <laughs> He's bigger than I thought he was anyway. First picked up on him. He didn't feel like that. He immediately started rolling. 
He's got my other line too, doggone it. <laughs> well, it's like they got a sixth sense of where that other line's at this morning and go right into it. My other line. <laughs> tell you what, just to be safe, make sure I don't lose him, I'm gonna bring him in before I unhook him. But that one also hit the skipjack head. That's what the biggins have wanted today. Skipjack head, that's the third fish I've caught on it. And when I get it back here, I'm gonna drop it down there and try to get a fourth. Oh, look at that, y'all. That is one ugly fish. He is dark. He's blind in both eyes. He's got a big chunk out of his front of his face there. His fin over here is messed up. This fish has had a hard life. But they're survivors, man. They are survivors. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull on this board here. Let's get a length on him, because he's a fairly, he ain't a real heavy fish, but he's pretty long. That fish right there is over 38 inches long. That's a pretty good fish, man. When I first picked up on it, he didn't fight hard. But then once once the fight went on, that's when he really took off. <laughs> Let's let him go. Keep on surviving, buddy. You keep doing your thing. He's ready to get out of here. He's ornery. There he goes. All right, y'all. That's that same skipjack head. I'm gonna drop him down and see if we can get a fourth fish on it. Pretty optimistic we will. All right, y'all, we're getting a little action from Daniel here. He had started out on the other side of this point initially and we ended up moving around here a little bit. He's come over here closer to me, kind of on the other side where the secondary channel cuts through. I'm on the bottom side of it. He's on the top side of it. There we go. Blue cat. I got a fish on here, Daniel. Well, he's going to pull now. Look at that. Look at that, buddy. He's stripping drag. Man, where did that come from? That's got to be a striper. It's got to be a striper. Y'all, we were getting ready to go. Neither me or Daniel have caught a fish in uh, forever. It's after 10 a.m. right now. And we haven't caught a fish, and I ain't got one in a couple hours. But I've hooked into this one here. It's on that skipjack head, the same one that I caught him other fish on. But I guarantee you this is a striper. He's, the way he's pulling so hard, ripping drag. This is hard to believe, but, you know, we're into May here, and I've been fishing some areas where I expect to get strappers, but this is actually the first striper I've caught all year, believe it or not. I catch a, usually catch a bunch of them by accident while I'm catfishing, uh, but this is going to be number one. We already into May, so. I need to spend some time actually out targeting them. I love trolling for them with artificials because they just, I mean, they crush it when you're trolling crankbaits and plugs and stuff. And y'all, if you notice, I've moved. I've moved up higher into this secondary channel here. I had to because the TVA's kicked up the generation and the flow out there is just too much. So I kind of had to, crap. Liam here moving down river. The flow is just too much. I just can't stay, I can't keep myself safely anchored out there. So I've come up here kind of more into this secondary channel to get out of that main current flow, but it's to make it safer. Look at that, look at that now. Now look back and this fish has pulled me loose. Let's lose that. Look at that. <laughs> is that awesome or what? That's a nice striper, buddy. That is a fat thing. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to get just a quick measurement and we're going to let him go because I do not want to hold this thing out of the water long. And that fish is 
over 38 inches. That is a nice strapper, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's let him go quick. No, he's ready. He gone. Man, that was awesome. All right, y'all, that's a wrap on another video. It was a fun one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.